really believe that the personality of the maker is reflected in the work. Um, so I want my work to look fun and I want people to to sort of have like this instant response to it that is something that um, really clicks with them. Um, and li like you said, um, well, and Yanagi, who was um, sort of part of the creation of the Minge movement with Hamada and Bernard Leach, he talks in um, he talks in one of his essays about how the beauty of everyday things is because they're so deeply embedded in everyday life with people that these connections are formed um, through constant use. So that there's an element of that as well. So the function of the pot is really important as well as the personality and the colour. And So it's, it's lots of points I'm trying to hit when people are picking my pots and hopefully that's why they pick them or... Um, yeah, I don't know really. It's more, I'm making these for me, I guess. I'm making pots I like um, and then just hoping that other people like them as well instead of trying to make something for someone else that gives them a certain reaction. Um, I don't know if that really answered your question. My favourite. <laughs> um, I've got a couple of favourites, a couple of different ones. I've got, um, I've got a faceted tea bowl made by Jeff Ostrike, who was an apprentice in the 70s at, at the Leach Pottery. Um, that he sent to me after I went and stayed with him for a few weeks during the St. Croix Valley Pottery Tour um, in Minnesota. Um, and he'd noticed that it was one that I was picking sort of nearly every meal to use, to drink out of, um, and sent that to me. So that's, that's one of my favourites. Um, uh, I've also I've got a really nice um, Warren McKenzie small sipping cup that I use quite a lot and a Ruloff mug. Ruloff Oyce who's the lead potter at the Leech. Um, I really like it's quite a nice funky one that he made. It's got lots of personality and it's actually quite a popular one in my house and um, even with the kids which is quite nice. Um, so yeah a few different ones and I use my own quite a lot as well because I do I, do, I want to make sure that they, they're nice to use, they're comfortable and I want it to be enjoyable to use so that the people get a lot more from it. Like if, if it's not very nice to hold or the handle's too small or, or the rim where it touches your lips is uncomfortable, it's not, it's not the mug that you're going to go to. It's not going to be your go-to mug. Um, so it's, yeah, that that's influences the work quite a lot. <laughs> um, I mean, it's all pretty important. All all the elements of this job are really important. Um, down, just packing packing kilns is is really important, just because of the way they work. And um, but I guess the throwing style, because of the way the leech the leech style of making um, with a slow wheel um, and smooth movement. Um, it's, it creates a certain type of work and way of working that influences, well for me, influences the, the forms that I use. Um, so I guess the throwing really, day in, day out, making produ production, training in production, learning to make shapes from someone else's head, um, allows you then to sort of make anything from your own head and repeat that. You've, you're getting all the skills that you need you're, from the bottom up, um, from reclaiming clay um, right up to loading and firing kilns, mixing your own glazes from raw materials, um, mixing your own clay bodies from raw materials. It's, like, it really gives you a solid foundation to then move on and make work that is individual and, and from you in a really personal way. Um, 
which I guess comes from that leech ethos, which was always the continuation of the craft. Um, I think leech trained like hundreds of potters from sort of dozens of like of different countries and in India to America and lots of different places. So that that leech tree of life um, is, is really extends across the world, um, which is something that they still try and do. You know, we we have volunteer well, we used to have volunteers from all over the world, but we still have residents that come from all over um, and people that work in the studio have always been from from everywhere as well and it's it's just very much about that philosophy of the beauty of everyday things craft for the people like this is this functional art you know and in in many ways it is affordable and a lot some people think that 25 pound is a lot for a mug but i think when you pay sort of 10 pound for a burger it, it's not really that that much money for something that could potentially, if looked after, last 10,000 years. You know, they dig pots up, well, they're digging pots up that are going back further than that now. So it's, you know, it's really quite a good investment, although maybe on the outset, it seems like a lot. Thank <laughs> you.